So we've redone the pattern, um, keeping in mind that, you know, we got everything uniform now. The trees are small, medium, and large, and their proportions are pretty much small, medium, and large, so that, you know, we had a medium one that was wider than the tall one. So that wasn't good. And then if you notice, Jeannie's lining that up and it's about a half an inch shorter than the top of the tree. And that's our discovery mm -hmm. that we found that if we would cut the side pieces a uh, half an inch shorter than as sh yeah. we assemble them. And look at that. The, the top is looks just perfect and nice and s pointy. Spiky, I was going to say. And so that was something that really was took an effort. We both struggled and mm -hmm. worked on changing the patterns, didn't we, Jeannie? Yeah. But it took David's engineer mind to figure it out. I'll show you this other trick that he came up with. And that's on the middle piece here so after I foil all the way around then I'm also going to put a piece of foil down the center I'll show you is it the same width as the other stuff no it's a little bit smaller really How come? I guess it doesn't matter. I, uh, I just thought maybe that it wouldn't stick out as much and be so thick. Oh, I see. But I could probably use quarter inch on the center too. Now it's interesting. This foil doesn't look very coppery, and it's because all the rolls of foil that we just got from our supplier had this tarnished look to it. And so maybe it was older stuff that's been sitting around for a while. But here she is. She's going to put that centerpiece on. So I just used a little bit so I can pull it off first so it doesn't unravel and stuff. Uh huh. And then I'll put the top on. And then just line it up. Right down the center. And this is the first side. So it's easier on the second side. Uh, yeah. Because there's a shadow that, of it on the other side. Mm-hmm. Why was it we thought that would be a good idea? I don't know. You came up with that brilliant idea. It seems like if you run your... Well, I think because I made one and there, were, there was a little gap in oh, the yeah. middle. Yeah, yeah. And so if you have something to solder to on the glass, then you don't have that gap. So that was brilliant. So that's just there to keep from having a gap in the finished tree. Yeah. And I don't know, do you think it makes it stronger? I, I think it probably makes it stronger too. Yeah, prime maybe a little bit stronger, but not much. It's not a big deal for, as far as strength is concerned, I don't think. Mm -hmm. It's mostly for aesthetics. 
and they're talking about aesthetics. There was one that Jeannie was doing earlier, and we both heard this click as she was soldering, mm -hmm. and one of those little side pieces just broke. It just got too hot. Is that what you think was? That's what you said. <laughs> It was either it got too hot or else it had a um, a flaw in the glass and then we heated it up it it's amazing but boy it was noticeable both of us heard it clink yeah just this click and you know exactly what happened so we've got this flux and we we might we put it as much of it on as we can at a time because letting it sit a while kind of helps get rid of that tarnish. The uh, copper foil is... You can tell the difference here. This is a what it usually looks like, and this is just more coppery colored as far as huh. I can tell. Huh. Now that looks really wide, that line coming down. But then when you put the other piece in in there... It, uh, yeah. it doesn't look light at all. The, it's even thinner. I think this is 7 30 seconds. Huh. 37 30 seconds. I'm tinning around because the last one I did, I forgot to tin it, and it's just harder to do a 3D piece when you have to, you know, it's easier to solder flat, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> sure. And it fills it all in. There's sometimes there's places where you just can't reach your soldering iron. Mm -hmm. But if you've tinned it, why then it's already been reached. But I don't tin the center part right here. You don't. I don't need to. Okay. Well, it does have a piece of glass stuck down to it while while you're soldering it, so. So the secret to having good pointy trees is having only a half an inch less on the side pieces than on the main on the main uh, Christmas tree, and that will let you have a nice pointy top. Boy, we were fighting it. Mm -hmm. All kinds of kind of trying to fix the top, make him look better, and it just, it, it, it was a real fight, real um, kind of a hassle, I don't know. But this doesn't take very much time. Uh, it might take, uh, what, just think, 15 minutes to foil and solder? Yeah. So then another, you know, little while to cut them all. Sure. We came up with some really good techniques for cutting too. This is something that you could do in your own studio, but it's just to remember the 3D pieces are just a little trickier. But they make great gifts. Yeah. Gonna... These really are seasonal. Mm -hmm. People people love little little trees. But you know what I was thinking too is that if you had a mountain cabin, this could they could be up all year. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? That's true. They put stuff like this up in, in chandeliers as well. Ca a kind of a rustic wilderness chandeliers. And they'll put things like this and little animal cutouts. Oh, yeah. Usually in metal, I've seen. Yeah. So they make the animal cutouts in metal and then they take this kind of stuff and now give you the... 
what you're looking for as far as you know lighting get a little bit of green cast from the bulbs in your in your in your lamp fabulous now look at that isn't that great just goes right on there and it's tinned it's almost like she knows what she's doing yeah I've had a good teacher. How many have you done so far? Uh, well, the ones that with the correct pattern, just two. <laughs> yeah, but how many have you done? I mean, honestly, there. How many did you do before? About a dozen? Uh, maybe half a dozen. No, you did more than well, six. Well, there's two, three, four, five. And how many did you put on that table? She kind of puts the seconds on a on a table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I you know maybe. I think you did a six. dozen. But uh, oh yeah, because I did a few clear ones too. Oh yeah. And we're going to do some more clear ones, I think, because these this yep. new technique is so much better. I think you're going to really enjoy the finished product. It's time to help our people to enjoy stained glass. All right. We're going to put this pattern up for free on our website. Well, there you go. Because we want you, we don't want you thinking that we're mercenary. We have to be somewhat mercenary because you have to. You know, you sell the glass and then you have to buy more. And oh man, it just keeps getting more and more expensive. I'm not complaining. Okay, so now what Jeannie is doing here is she's tacking the center middle piece after she has lined it up so that it's at a 90 degree angle with the board. And so now it'll, it'll stick right and it won't wobble. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, we hope so. But, but you want to make sure that you get it set down tight on the table, and that's where you want to tack it first. Sure don't want to tack it at the top, because the top is supposed to kind of go wander, and the top does not reach the top of the tree. When we were building them before and we hadn't modified the pattern, by then, you started at the top because you were trying so hard to get the them to be pointy. Now what? I kind of lean it up against something. Okay. So but I is, can get it straight. Do you feel like it's uh, already level? It's that the it's, legs on it are all. So it's not wobbly, is what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Well, when I had it upright, it seemed all right. We went off of daylight savings time. And it's 
currently six o'clock in our studio and it seems dark. It's pitch black out there. It didn't used to be that dark until seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we like the idea of going off of daylight savings time. In fact, we heard there's a group that wants to just do away with the, the time zones as well. And that sounds very radical when you first hear it. But I don't know. Might might work out. Just everybody, wherever you live, you just have your start and stop time different. People are coming. 